So I put some um, examples of a couple of um, quite interesting um, visions. So the first one is um, Apple. Now, I have to admit, even though I put this up, I actually have not read it all the way through because it's just so wordy. Um, and I think it's quite good for you to see kind of a good and bad example. Because, you know, if, even if you, you know, even if that was your business's strategy or your business's um, vision, would you be able to reel it off? Would you know what it was? No? Would you, if, would you, would you be switched on to it? Probably not. Um, and therefore, perhaps wouldn't be so engaged with it. So it kind of doesn't really take a genius to know that when you are, when a business does develop their vision and their mission and where they would like to go, um, they need to be quite punchy with that and, and quite um, directional and not too wordy. And actually, what's really interesting about this Apple one is that it kind of just claims to, um, makes claims to what, they've, what products they've released. It talks about the iPhone, App Stores, iPad 2, and all that business, and it's kind of like, well, we know, because we see everybody walking around with them. <laughs> um, so then we've got McDonald's, which I quite like this one, because it's, it's quite people, it's quite kind of, look, this is what we are, so we're proud of everything we do, and we're dedicated to doing more, evolving alongside our customers and building memories that last a lifetime and goodwill that lasts forever. So I, I kind of looked into the kind of their, their actual strategy and their website a bit more just to understand how do they actually put that into practice. Have they got any evidence of, of where, they, um, where they really do that? Because it's very easy just to string a few words together, isn't it? But it's actually very difficult to you know, make it come to life and make sure that you live and breathe it. So had a bit of a look round. Um, and they talk a lot about kind of fun and smiles and all lovely things. Um, but then they also talk about, they, they mention goodwill in the last part of that, that um, vision. And they talk about how they, they um, for their, I think for their full-time staff or even maybe their part-time staff as well, they'll offer a free meal on, whilst they're on their shift. So, you know, that's part of kind of embedding that goodwill culture. And um, not something that they actually need to do really. So it kind of tells you that they really believe in what they're doing and they really want to implement it and be, and, and be as forthcoming with it as, as they can. So it's always good to look into that detail, really, and particularly, you know, a part of their other functions. Their, you know, their, it'd be interesting to know what their, sort of, their HR um, team perhaps looks like and, and what they do and how they bring to life other aspects of this goodwill culture. Having covered a little bit about strategy and a little bit about kind of HR and where it sits within the business, um, we can perhaps now gather a bit of momentum and start breaking down some of the aspects of HR and what, um, what kind of uh, some of the activities that HR are involved in. So, um, as part of obviously the employment life cycle, first we start with recruitment. Surprise, surprise. Um, and I think when you think of recruitment, perhaps you you would instantly go to thinking about interviews, somebody starting, how you'd induct somebody. But actually, the planning comes to light much, much sooner than that. And there's lots and lots and lots of things that need to be done um, before we arrive at the decision to employ somebody new. Um, so, have you, do, does anybody, do you operate kind of a needs analysis? Have you ever heard of like a needs analysis within recruitment? Okay, so um, when a manager identifies perhaps a skill gap or somebody leaves within their team, or um, the team have committed to doing something new or doing something different and actually they think, oh, we've said we're going to deliver this IT project on um, such and such 2008, um, but we don't have anybody trained in that, so what are we going to do? So I think that would be part, well, definitely form part of that needs analysis structure. 